for determine the number of solution by sketching two suitable graph. So we know that when we wanted to sketch a graph, we need to have what is our y, right? So this one. So we have to arrange it so that we can make it. Uh, so that we can find what is, is it what is our y? So here we see here x minus two pi. This one, cos two x is equal to zero. So if we arrange it at one side, x is equal to two pi cos 2x right so here x over 2 pi is equal to cos 2x so here this can be our y and this can be our y so we have two equation which is y is equal to x over 2 pi and another one we have y is equal to modulus cos 2x So we are going to going to draw this one first. So here modulus cos 2x. So whatever it is, if you have a function, trigo function, so we are going to start with the basic one. So we know that cos cos x is something just draw here. So cos x is something like this, where this one, so this one is pi, right? So I'm going to use 2 pi here. So this one is y is equal to cos x. And we know that the period is 2 pi, right? Because this one is 2 pi divided what is in front of x. So this one is in front of x is 1, so here we get 2 pi. But here we have 2 in front of x, so period is equal to 2 pi divided by 2, so here we get pi. So here we wanted until pi, so we know that for this graph, so we are going step by step starting from cos 2x here. So something like this, this one is pi because we know that one period is pi and here this one is 1, this one is negative 1, this one is y is equal to cos 2x. Now, you see that we have modulus. Now, we are going to y is equal to modulus cos 2x. So, what happens is, when you have modulus, all the negative value will become positive. And positive value won't be affected. So, you see here, do we have negative value? Yes, up here to here, we have negative value. So, here is going up. So, you have something like this. So, here I'm going to draw the real graph here. Which is, this one is 1, right? So this one is going down and something like this and this one where this one is pi. So we know here the midpoint here is pi over 2 and this one and this one. This one is the in between this one and this one. So we just add up these two and then divide by 2. So 1 over 2 plus 1. So 1 just spread it 1 plus 1 because this one is 1 pi you get 3 over 2 right divided by 2. So here is 3 pi over 4. So you didn't really need to remember this one you can just calculate so this one is the midpoint between 0 and pi over 2 this one is pi over 4 so now you are done with your y is equal to cos 2x so we want to to, to graph right so this one another graph So you see here y is equal to x over 2 pi which is also equal to so you can separate 2 pi x. So can you see this one is y is equal to m x plus c but c is equal to 0. So this one you know that you are going to get a straight. So you can get it by finding two points. So any two points and then you just straight it. Okay. So I'm going to take x is equal to 0 and x is equal to pi. Or you can take 0 and pi over 2. It doesn't matter but don't make it too close. For example, don't make it 0 and pi over 4 because it's too close. But matter you make it a, a larger gap. So here when x is equal to 0. So this one, y is equal to 0 divided by 2 pi which is equal to 0. So I have 0, 0 here. And then another point when x is equal to pi. So this one is y is equal to 
pi divided by 2 pi. So, here I get 1 over 2. Okay. So, this one is pi and 1 over 2. So, 1 over 2 is the midpoint. So, maybe here 1 over 2. So, I have 2 point now which is 0, 0 which is here. And then I have pi and 1 over 2 which is here. So, make a straight line because it is a straight line. And you see here it cross 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it's crossing 4 points. 4 points which means that it has 4 solution. Or you can see that number of solution is equal to 4.